guys, back once again with the secure teacher access only top secret specimen material set two paper two for the exam on Tuesday. I uh, hope you guys find this useful. I've done question one on enzymes. Now it's time for question two, which is a really short one. So we've got a bacterium here um, and we've got to do the magnification. Now, if I remember, remember rightly, there was a magnification question on paper one. So not sure this is particularly likely to come up. And I think this whole question um, is unlikely to rear its head, but we'll go through it anyway because we never know. So we've got to calculate the magnification of the image. So we want to be using uh, MIA, so uh, magnification equals image size uh, over actual size. We use this equation triangle. So we want to know this, so we want to do um, image size divided by actual size. Now the first thing people want to do for some bizarre reason when they see this question um, is measure this somehow. And there's no need because what we're given is a beautiful, beautiful scale bar. And that has everything we need. It tells us that the um, the size of this, the actual size of this is not 0.5 micrometers. So all we have to do is measure that. And if we measure it, we see the image size of this is 10 millimeters. Remember measuring millimeters, never ever touch centimeters at all. Okay. So what we need to do, we need to convert one of these um, numbers, one of these uh, sizes, such, such that it's in the same units as the other one. So I'm going to convert millimeters to micrometers. So that's times by a thousand. So 10 millimeters is 10,000 micrometers. Then all it's a case of doing is 10,000 divided by 0 0.5, and that will give us our answer of 20,000 times bigger. Um, the numbers should work out quite nice in these questions, and it always should be kind of logical. If you get a small magnification, then that's a little bit ridiculous because you know bacteria are properly small. So a little bit of common sense with this. Next one, uh, ticky box question again. This should just be straight off the top of your head. Um, and again, this question popped up in paper one, so I don't think we're going to particularly need this in 2016. But for the future, hey, it's, it's here for prosperity. So bacterium, yep, cell surface membrane, no nucleus. They do have a cytoplasm, however, and the only thing on here that is uh, is true of a virus is a capsid. And there we go, two marks, nice and straightforward. So this question, I can't remember if this was on paper one or not, but it's useful to remember it. So we're looking at comparing uh, the DNA and RNA. Uh, we're looking for the nucleotides um, and what the differences are between DNA nucleotides and RNA nucleotides. So we can say that we need to compare both. So we need to have two statements realistically in our answer. So the first one is going to be DNA has uh, T, which is thymine, whereas in RNA, RNA, the thymine is replaced by U, which is uracil. There we go. And the second difference is that DNA clues in the sort of the, the acronym, the initial here, DNA is deoxyribose as the sugar. So deoxyribose, whereas RNA is just ribose, which is fine. There we go. And that is the end of question two. And that was quite ridiculously short and sweet. So I hope you guys have found that useful. Please like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned for question three. Bye bye.